T quilts and today we're here to do the Nancy Zeman 2017 block of the month this month we're working with the sister's choice block and this is a photo of the block so I have my block already cut out on my design wall and I did make some changes this time the only change that I made was that I cut my chisels with my AccuQuilt Gold Dye, I've shown you that in a previous video. And then I also cut those triangles that go on top of these with my Gold Dye. So everything else was cut according to the pattern, except that I did not strip piece these. I just cut squares. So I have a link to the pattern in the description box below. And I also have... A list of the videos from the previous blocks of the month at the top of this video just click on the eye in your upper right hand corner so the first step in sewing is that I need to make my chisels and then I can also go ahead and do some additional sewing and sew my flying geese units together and then I can also go ahead and sew my two squares together so I'm going to do that and then I will come back with the block layout I have sewn quite a few sections on this block to save some time in videotaping so on the top left I have sewn all of my what I'm now calling my flying geese unit I have sewed all four of those together I have sewn next to that all four of my chisel pieces together and then I also sewed all of my two patch units in the center together. So when we go to sew this block section here, now I want to sew my chisel to my flying geese units. And you can see where I have done that over on this section here. So the next thing that I did was in the center, I sewed all of those squares together. And then at the bottom, I've shown you where I have sewn this whole entire row together. So now all I need to do is to finish sewing this unit here. Sew this row together. And then I need to attach all three sections or all three rows together. And by the way, I didn't mention how I did my half square triangles. I'm kind of recording these right in a row. So I kind of forgot at the beginning of this video. I am using triangle on a row to piece my half square triangles. If you want to see how I'm doing that, you can go to the January video where I explain in depth how I am working with this product. Other than that, this is just straightforward sewing. I'll come back with the completed block. Here's the completed Sister's Choice block. And remember that all blocks in this series finishes at 15 inches. 15 and 1 half inch unfinished. Please watch the slideshow of all the completed blocks, and I'll see you next time with the December block. Bye-bye for now.